There's a certain beauty and joy that comes with being out on the water. And when it comes to the vehicles that you can use it on, above it or below it, it can make things even more fun. What is it that you desire? Reaches. We all know of items like surfboards, jet skis, and wave riders that you can have fun with on the water. But there are other items out there that might surprise you with how you use them on the water. So given that, allow us to show you six water vehicles you won't believe exist. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 6. Jet Foiler Hydrofoil When it comes to watercraft, there are many different ways you can go. You won't need to look very hard if you want to find something cool to ride the water on. But if you're looking for a cool and unique experience, then you'll need to try out the Jet Foiler Hydrofoil. Why is that? Because this is a surfboard with an electronic powered engine that will literally have you riding above the water while still technically being on it. It may look like an optical illusion when you see the jet foiler hydrofoil going through the waters, but it's not. The motor is powerful enough to lift you and the board you stand on up and out of the water, making it so you're cutting through the ocean or beach you're on without having to worry about your board bouncing through the water. Also, the motor is so powerful that you can go up to 25 miles per hour. That's pretty fast considering all that it's doing. The manufacturers note that it's easy to control and guide, and it keeps you pretty steady. Plus, you can get a different size board so you can ride the craft with more than one person on it. Not to mention you'll be able to surf even if there are no waves to ride. The catch is that they cost anywhere from $2,000 to over $12,000. So yeah, not the cheapest water vehicle ever, but it's something that many of you are already eager to try out, right? 5. Water Jetpack Now let's jump to one you all can honestly go and enjoy right now, so long as you're near a big body of water. The water jetpack is an aquatic propulsion system that you've no doubt seen in various clips about the beach and the ocean. The concept is actually pretty simple. You're attached to a device with a long hose. The hose sends water up the pack and the thrusters shoot the water back down, thus allowing you to fly a good distance above the water. Plus, because of how it works, as long as you're above the water, you're gonna fly. Now yes, there are some limitations and drawbacks, including doing too much and splashing down into the water. But this is an experience that have caused many to want to try this, and we can't blame them. Some of you might not have believed it existed because of how simple it makes everything look. But sometimes a simple enough design can do wonders, and this jetpack is a great example of that. 4. The TerraWind Amphibious RV In case you didn't know, RV actually stands for Recreational Vehicle. This is because an RV can be taken camping, to the mountains, across the country, and more. We don't think the creators of the RV ever pictured it being an amphibious vehicle. And yet, that's exactly what the TerraWind Amphibious RV is. One thing that's immediately noticeable about the TerraWind Amphibious RV is that it maintains the shape and style that RVs are known for. This isn't a vehicle that had to alter its shape or size to accommodate for the watery terrain. It's still the bulky yet sleek frame RVs are known for. Yet, when it goes into the water, it does transform a bit so we can make it through. Even more surprising, it can go about 8 miles an hour in the water. For a massive vehicle like that, that's not too bad. Oh, but that's just the start of what this ride offers. Inside this very special RV isn't just room to relax, sleep, etc. There's also spacious jacuzzi, granite countertops, a washing machine, microwave oven, and refrigerator. You're meant to live in this thing and enjoy it every step of the way. And if you're into fishing, the back end of the RV will actually lower down enough to give you room to fish. Or you can just sit on it and enjoy the views as you trudge through the water. Turning an RV into an amphibious vehicle could not have been easy. Yet, they made it work, and suddenly the RV experience just got a bit more adventurous. 3. Cruise Sub U-Boat Works Some might hear the word U-Boat and get flashbacks to World War II, as that was the name of the German submarine that was an absolute terror in the water and sank many ships. Don't worry, that's not this one. Not the least of which is that of the cruise sub U-boat, Works is not a German invention, it's from the Dutch. What they made was a personalized submarine that would allow people to go and explore the underwater depths of the ocean, or seas, or lakes near them without much issue. What's more, there isn't a personal submarine of sorts where you can only fit yourself and one other. Rather, this is something that can house five people at its smallest size and model, and about 11 at its largest model ensuring that everyone in the family or the group you're in can go and look under the water. Furthermore, this isn't a sub where you can go just get under the water and see things. This is a true submarine that at its max depth, depending on the model you use, can go below 2,000 feet. That'll give you a truly memorable experience as you get to see the ocean like nothing you've ever been able to see before. 
Speaking of seeing, you won't be looking out of portholes when you're in this vessel. Rather, you'll be able to view everything via 360 degree viewing globes that everyone can sit in and fully experience the wonders of the ocean world. No doubt, many of you dream of an up close and personal experience with the world under the ocean surface. This is a vehicle that was made for you and others. Two, the Sherp ATV. The all-terrain vehicle label is an accurate depiction of what these four wheelers can do. But like all other things, there's a limit. For example, while most models can go through the water without an issue, if the water is deep enough, it can affect the engine and render it useless. For the Sherp ATV, it does a slightly better job of water movement, and it does so in the simplest way possible, having bigger wheels. That might not seem like much of a difference, but look at those wheels and tell us that wouldn't make a difference. An exact measurement of the tire puts its height at about 6 feet tall, and it should be noted that the cabin of the ATV is a couple feet itself, making the Sherp ATV about 10 feet tall, all said and done. That's very big for an ATV, but this vehicle makes the most of its abilities. As for the water aspect of things, one of the reasons it can go through the water like it does is because the wheels basically have paddles on them. Through that, it can move through the water about 3 to 4 miles per hour. So it's an ATV that will be able to be on land easily, and then go through the water and move around just as easily, albeit a little slower. And some people just love big items like these. Who are we to deny them? 1. Water Car Panther the Water Car Panther is actually one of the fastest amphibious vehicles in the world today, with a top speed of about 44 miles per hour. Plus, the design is meant to invoke a Jeep-like quality, while also making sure the water doesn't get into the ride itself very easily, making the Water Car Panther a craft that everyone can drive and enjoy with their friends and family for a variety of reasons. As a land vehicle, it has an engine that makes it just like any Jeep on the road. Yet, when the vehicle hits the water, the power goes from the engine to a jet that's under the Panther. That way it moves like an actual watercraft. Furthermore, once the vehicle hits the water, the tires will actually move up so the Panther can move more elegantly through the water, which is why it can reach up to 44 miles per hour. It also helps the water car Panther has an incredibly light frame that was constructed to maximize its buoyancy. This craft can have up to four people in it. The outer frame is coated in a way so you can go into fresh water or salt water without fearing of damaging the skin of the car. There's a powerful engine underneath the hood that allow you to go up to 80 miles on land. And to top it all off, there's a 26-gallon engine in it. So there are indeed aquatic cars in the world. And this one easily is one of the coolest. What do you think of these vehicles that take you on, above, or below the waters in ways that are truly special? Does seeing some of these items make you wish you owned one of them right now? Which ones do you think would be the most fun to partake in? Do you know of other water vehicles that should have been on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.